Okay, let's track how many lives we have left when we lose a hero in the game. Now, in the game, under the kill hero function, we had this game lives variable that gets decremented by one every time the hero is killed. And then if game lives equals zero, we trace game over to the output window, and then we actually have to, to eventually change that so that something happens. We go to a game over screen, and we can start the game over again, or, or however we want to do it. So to show how many lives, we could just use a little text box to show how many lives are left in the upper right hand corner. Or what we could do is make a little movie clip. And so let's do that. So we'll say insert new symbol and we'll call it MC lives as a movie clip and we'll click OK. So now we've got this thing called MC lives, right? And what we'll do is we'll go to the library and we'll get the hero and I'll just drag the hero out here. Alright, there's the hero. And I want to make this hero a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go to the transform tool here. I'm going to lock the uh, width and uh, height, right? And I'm just going to move that down to, let's say, 85%. Okay? So now he's 85% his normal height. And what I'll do is, is then I can also go here and I can set his X point and Y point under info here. All right, X, Y. No, that's fine. I can just leave him just like that. I'll put him, let's zoom in a little bit. And put him here. We'll line him up like that. And then um, we can, let's see here, we'll say, copy, paste, and then copy and edit, paste in place, which is the same place, and we can just do this, all right? So now we have, let's say, three lives, and what we want to do is, we'll say, F6 on the keyboard, F6, and F6. All right, so if we're on f keyframe four, we have three lives. If we're on um, keyframe three, we'll have two lives. If we're on keyframe two, we'll just delete two of these guys. Select them, hold down the shift key to select both, and then press delete. Then we have one life. And then if we're on keyframe one, we're going to delete all of them. All right, so there's our movie clip, right? One, two, three. All right? All right, beautiful. So we'll say back to scene one, and we'll go to our library now. And I'm going to drag this out onto the same layer here that score is on right on this keyframe right here. So I'll go to the library and I'm looking for MC lives. There it is. I might rename that, put in a dash. Okay, MC lives. And I'm gonna drag that out and I'm gonna place it right here. Now, since there's zero lives on the first keyframe, all you can see it as is just this dot. So that's a little difficult. So we'll put it right over here, let's say. Move it up a little bit. And I'm going to select it again. Now it's selected. Notice when it's selected, you see a little cross, and then the properties window will show it, instance of mc-lives. And up here on the instance name, I'll say mc-lives enter with no dash, right? So I give it an instance name. So then, in our movie, what we can do is, when we code this up, we can say, when the game starts, game lives equals three, and then you could say, MC lives dot go to and stop let's say what is it? it's uh, frame 4 right so if we hit control enter 
and click here to begin, you can see that we have our three lives up in the upper right hand corner here, right? Because we told it to go to that frame. So now what we do is just take this, make him, I mean, might need to make the that whole thing a little bit smaller. Try that again. Okay, there he is. That's pretty cool. I'll bring it up one more pixel and over two more. Okay, so then in our code, once again, that sets it to the right place. We will click on our action scripts, go down in our action scripts, and we'll say kill hero game lives minus minus and then we say mc lives dot go to and stop game lives plus one Let's see if we can do that I'm not sure that we can do that but we'll try there goes there goes one life and there he comes and there goes another life you can see it down here at one and then there goes another life and now all the lives are gone alright so that's working pretty nicely so that decrements the lives and game lives plus one because on our movie clip basically if I double click on this movie clip you could see that when game lives equals zero right we need to be on the first keyframe so that's why it's game lives plus one when game lives is three when we have three lives we actually want to go to the fourth keyframe so that's why it's game lives plus one so we start off here then we go to here then we go to here then we go to frame one when we actually have zero lives so that's why I coded that that way